I'm Eilis Thomas and I lead the team of children's nurses as here at Swansea and Bridgend. Yeah, the children's department at Morriston Hospital is divided into three areas. Um, a paediatric assessment unit where children come in, um, usually emergency admissions. There's not open access to the public, it's got to be via a GP, a midwife or a health visitor or another hospital. Then there's a medical ward which has um, 31 beds, four of those beds are high dependency beds where children come in who need a high level of nursing care. The nursing establishment is set up so that there is um, one nurse to two beds within that area. The surgical ward is a 24 bedded ward, four of those beds are high dependency for surgical cases. Um, we look after children who have um, all sorts of operations such as ENT, orthopaedics, max fax, um, general surgery, the, we have the cleft lip and palate service there um, and that's, op that's open, all the areas are open 24-7. Um, while you're in hospital you're able to stay with the child, um, you can sleep at the bedside and we do provide beds for you. There is a parents room, a small parents room, where you can go and have some chill out time and have a cup of coffee. And there's also a canteen where you can have um, cooked food. Unfortunately, there's little um, facilities uh, for you to bring your own food in, so we do try and discourage that. Visiting times within the ward is between sort of is parents only up till two o'clock in the afternoon between two and seven then we do encourage um, grandparents and siblings in until seven o'clock in the evening and then after seven o'clock in the evening then it's just one parent or carer to stay overnight. This is the meeting area where we'll ask you to come after you've uh, registered with a receptionist and the nurse will see you. There's toys and there's colourings for you to occupy your white weight. This is a trials room and this is where the nurse will bring you and your mum and dad and have a chat to see what has been going on in the last few days when you haven't been well. And in here we'll check your blood pressure, your pulse and your temperature. Okay, it's going to go tight and then it'll go back down. Just relax. you're really not feeling very well and we can monitor you in here, we can monitor your heart rate where we put these little stickies on you and we can monitor your oxygen going around your body with a little probe and this comes up on a little TV screen here which you probably would have seen on medical programs on the television such a casualty. Nothing in here hurts, it's all very gentle, there's a lot of equipment, there's uh, what we call a drip here this would give you fluids if you needed any, if you weren't drinking enough. And we can also give you some medicines as well in here. And all this equipment is just that we've got it to hand and that it's easier then for us as well to manage you. This is the nurse station and this is where the nurses and the doctors on shift sit to write their reports and all the children that are here. This is an egg bedded way where you may stay if we need to keep you for a few hours or observe you or stay overnight. This is where you stay and your mummy can stay with you. This is a high dependency unit where children can who need close observation and care. You need to keep a close eye on you. Um, when you're in this unit then you'll be monitored carefully. We're going to monitor your heart rate, your pulse. We're going to monitor the amount of oxygen that's circulating in the body and if, you, if that's a little bit on the low side then we're able to give you some oxygen to make that better. This is a high dependency unit and this is where children come and young people if they are really poorly and they need a higher level of nursing. <laughs> Okay. Right, his tonsils are a bit red and flamed. There's no pus there. Thank you. Oh my God,
Sometimes you may need to be moved from this unit into another area, such as if you need a higher level of care again, then you may need to go to Cardiff to the intensive care unit there if you need that level of care. Hello there, my name is Jan Williams and I'm the Gold Sister here at Ward M in Morriston. Um, Ward M is a 20 bedded surgical ward, so that means if you break your arm, a swing or whatever, you'd come into here to have it fixed. We also um, have the children who come in for operations, so if you have a year operation, um, anything to do with as I said, arms, legs, your eyes, this is the ward you would come to. Or I sit on the table here now. What do you think of Boris? Think he's lovely? Yeah? So Boris has come to show you. Do you remember he told you about the little mermaid mask and the little butterflies, the things that we help us use for theatre? So in Boris's tap tap box, we've got the special equipment. So would you like to see what's in Boris's box? Shall we have a look? Can you see the mermaid mask? Do you want to bring it out and show Boris? Have a look, Boris. <gasps> what's in the box? Let's have a look what's in the box. That's one mermaid mask. The surgical HG area is a four bedded room. And if you have an operation and you need that extra special um, treatment with a one-to-one -one nurse, this is where you come.